everyone, it's Merc007 here, otherwise known as Miss Merc. Thank you for joining my Games from Japan Spotlight video. Today I want to share with you some Games from Japan getting an international release on Kickstarter. Please enjoy! For board gaming, we have been having a pretty good season, with many games being released at the Tokyo Game Market. I wanted to talk about some interesting games coming from Japan early 2021. Upcoming games on Kickstarter in 2021 Zen Tiles Basic by Chugga Chugga Games Zen Tiles Basic is a 1-4 to four player social game that is getting an international launch soon. This game is designed by Mr. Kawaguchi. The game is handcrafted by a welfare community in Japan. Being created in Japan helps provide jobs to artisans and to this welfare community. The game features beautiful glass crafted stones and the pictures really don't do it justice. This version of the game is the new version. It has the glass stones and the time track is made from bamboo. And as you know, glass and bamboo are sustainable materials that help the environment. This unique game has also been used in care facilities to help people with communication. I've been playing this game solo to wind down at the end of the day. In the solo version, you reflect on the previous day and draw one stone at a time and try to recall a time where you felt that emotion. The goal is to try to place 10 stones on the board. There is a variation that where you try to place all 20 stones on the board. Afterwards, I tend to take a photo of it and I place it in my journal or you can share it online as a visual journal. The materials of the components are amazing. And since it is crafted in Japan, the cost of the production is a little higher. You can support this creator and the welfare community that is making these products by clicking on the link in the description. Next I want to talk about some role-playing games launching from Japan. Since these days I am playing more games with friends online, I want to try some role-playing campaigns also. Xanadu. Xanadu is created by Federico Sons. It is an expansion to their alluring Nibiru RPG, which uses a unique memory system called Memos for memory recall. With the new launch coming soon in February, the players journey to Antambra, a monstrous city-state where the characters must learn to survive. In the first campaign of Nibiru, the core book revolved around Nibiru, the giant ominous space station, where only a small section of the station was habitable. The Nibiru ship is where the outcast vagabond characters reside, and there are many regions in Nibiru to explore. But each region of the station comes with its own dangers, and some levels are affected more with gravity. As players recover memories, they can grow their character's strength, but negative memories may hinder the player. Players start the game off with a bit of amnesia, and what's unique about this RPG is the memo system, where players unlock memories and then write them down on their character sheet. When a page is filled, they unlock a revelation which may benefit and grow that character. There are already a lot of YouTube videos about Nibiru and another YouTuber, Dave, has a wonderful overview about Nibiru. With this new campaign launch, the new book Xanadu delves more into Antambra, one of the regions, the lore, and there is also a new set of mechanics to develop memories as a group. This is a game that looks really interesting and something I would like to play over Discord or Zoom with my friends. 
For those new to the law, there will be a pledge level where you can get the core book of Nibiru as well. Definitely check this one out. Summon Skate Last year I was introduced to Summon Skate at the Tokyo Game Market, where many indie RPG creators showcase their games. This one caught my eye because it looked really unique. This is originally published in Japanese by the designer Rin Yasuda. The creators are crowdfunding for the English version of this book. Here is a look at the Japanese version. Even though the cover looks like you are just a skater, players can play characters like skateboarders or people that ride bikes or use any items that they can use to draw diagrams to summon allies. Players have special abilities to summon the allies to help them by drawing summoning spells. Players must solve mysteries to find out what is causing the chaos. Then when you encounter the chaos opponent, you're transported to a 12 by 12 landscape stage, almost like an anime battle scene. Then you must draw out symbol diagrams on the grid to summon an ally. Meanwhile, the chaos creature is attacking you and trying to shatter the stage by creating cracks from one end to the other. If you can't defeat the opponent or the stage shatters, the world will fall into chaos. It looks very interesting. Also, it has an ability for you to run short RPG campaigns for this game. This game has kind of a nostalgic look to it. I'm very interested in how this RPG project will go. Thank you so much for taking a look at these creations with me. Some games from Japan are handmade or self-published with a small print run. A lot of these games can go out of print quickly, no matter how beautiful or wonderful the game is, as printing is extremely expensive. That's why some Japanese creations are so rare and sought after. I hope you enjoyed looking at these games with me. If you're interested in following what's happening in Japan, I have a Trello page which I list events and games kickstarted from Japan. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you like the content. I make these spotlight videos as a hobby and don't get paid for them. Thank you so much for supporting as always. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy gaming!